Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Naked Audio Tutorial. This is Yong from SG Audio Hive. So today we will be going through uh, how to build your own DIY tray, organizer tray for your tabletop. This is for waste management, uh, for your rubbish and uh, to put your parts together all in one place. Uh, it makes it a very easy job. So for this project, we will require uh, very very simple tools. Uh, we just need a soldering iron, uh, the whole set with the stand and the cleaner, with uh, scissors and a cutter, and of course uh, your solder. For the parts required, uh, these are inexpensive, uh, they are quite e relatively easy to find. So we will need your USB power supply, this is a USB battery pack. So it uses AAA battery, uh, 4 in this case. Uh, this is for supplying power to the LED. Also, oh, we also need an LED strip. This is for your continuity tester. Uh, we will need a uh, USB, this is USB A male plug uh, with a heat shrink, uh, crocodile clips, and some wires uh, for the continuity tester. And uh, we will need Bluetech for mounting. That's about all. Okay, so for the very, very first step, we are all using uh, Bluetech for all the mounts today. So we just uh, open up the package. Okay, so this is what is inside the package. We'll get some of it. Okay, uh, we want to use this to mount uh, basically the, the battery holder, uh, the USB, and also uh, the secondary uh, tray inside this uh, main tray itself. So we'll start off by making sure that it's turned on. Uh, we will install the batteries. We close it up. Uh, I personally like that uh, this one to be outside, on the outside, so in this direction, and uh, the USB cable to be at the right side. So we'll be mounting them with a uh, blue tag. Okay, it's very easy. We just put a uh, sufficient amount of blue tag on here, and we'll press it against the the tray. I, I would like to do it on the outside, on the top left, and we'll run a wire through here so it's uh, slightly more organized. Okay, so for this part, very simple. And these are all mounted and they are very strong, you can shake them and, and they'll st stay in place. Of course, if you want to do any adjustment, uh, you can do it uh, up to your preference. Uh, you can just move them around. These are all removable adhesive. You can take them apart anytime you want and they are not going to leave any kind of stain. Okay, once we have mounted the battery pack, uh, we can mount this. Uh, I, I would love to do it uh, probably here, because uh, in that case, we can put our soldering iron uh, inside also, if you want to keep everything organized. So before we do it, uh, what we will do, we'll do is we we'll just place it at the back. I don't want it to be permanent. We have to remove this uh, in order to clean the trash next time. So we'll put it at the corner, just press it in. Of course, uh, if you don't like it to be wobbly, you can put it uh, at more at more places. And this is the same as the outside. Uh, we can still move them around. These are not permanent. Okay, now we have all this uh, set up. This is uh, probably ready to go. Okay, for this next part, we will be doing the soldering on the USB cable itself. We will be first thinning the the USB. Uh, this is a uh, normal USB A a male connector. So uh, we only require the power. So we will only need the plus five volt and the ground. Uh, on this pin, uh, this is uh, on the left, far left is a uh, pin number four. This is uh, your ground pin, and the very first pin is going to be your plus five volt. So we are going to thin them and label them. Okay, so in this case, I'm only going to label the plus five volts. 
So next, uh, we will prepare our wires. So this is a regular wire. You can use any wire, uh, be it thick or thin, or flexible or stiff. Uh, we are going to sh to actually uh, strip them and thin them in a uh, solder. For your ground, we only need uh, the length from here to here, so we about this long. So let's get the measurement for that. So about fourteen cm for this, fourteen centimeters. So we'll cut the ground wire and thin the other side. So we will now install the ground wire. Okay, next for the positive wire, the, the plus 5 volts wire, what we want to take note is that uh, we have two sides because uh, we, we want to complete the circuit at once. Uh, we want the crocodile clip and the wire to act as a, a switch. So firstly, let us thin both ends. We are still going to cut this wire. Okay, once uh, we have this, uh, we want to get the length of the part one of the wire, which is, uh, for me, I personally would like it to be this long. Uh, about 27 centimeters. The other one will need to be significantly uh, longer. So we'll thin the second side and we'll solder it to the connector. If you want, you can go ahead and label the plus 5 volt wires so that you do not get it confused with the ground wire. We can now install this uh, into the USB housing. Just uh, slide them in. And uh, close up the second part and clamp them down. We'll finish this part up with a piece of heat shrink. Okay, and this will be done for this part. <coughs> so we now have this uh, LED strip. These are 5 volts uh, LED strip. They run on USB or battery power. Okay, so there are indicators here. So the positive and the negative. So we are going to thin that. The negative, the shorter end on the USB side will be onto the ground for the negative of the LED. For the positive, we will be using a new wire. So this is the fresh wire.
Okay, take note we are going to solder this uh, in that direction, so this wire will run that way. I will try to show you uh, why is this uh, before we get the length and install the final crocodile clip. Okay, uh, so uh, we have the open end uh, positive. Uh, the USB, uh, the ground connected here, and this is the other positive. So we want it to run all the way to the other side. And we'll install the LED here. So uh, let me just uh, install this LED first. Uh, the USB cable first to make sure that it works. We have the other open end, let's uh, strip the wire. Okay, so this is the uh, positive on the LED itself, uh, and this is the positive from the USB. This should light up. So if we connect this to, if we connect from the USB to here, it will light up all the way, so it defeats the purpose. We want to install a crocodile clip here, so that uh, the crocodile clip can clip onto the things you are testing, and uh, this will be the one to find out uh, where does it go. If we were to center this uh, this light strip here, and uh, we want this uh, this other part to be able to to make contact with here, so uh, let's get the length of this whole wire. So we'll be using about fifty centimeters. That's half a meter. We will strip the ends of here and we will thin it. So, next we will prepare the crocodile clip. As you can see, there's a protection here. This is a rubber insulator. Uh, it also acts as a grip. We need to remove this in order to do the thinning of the wire. We will put this through the wire first. So this is the, the open end on the left. We will put it through the wire. And we can see there's a clamp here. We are going to open up the clamp and we are going to thin the inside and solder the wire onto it. So right now we will clamp it down and install back the insulator. Okay, we have everything ready, so what is left is to install this uh, LED strip onto the tray. So how we are going to do it? There is already adhesive on the back of the strip, but mine is very old and it's very worn out, so I'll just use it as a guide. And we'll finish it with a clear tape.
Okay, so we have now completed the whole tray. Uh, you can put your DIY parts here, your tools, uh, some of your smaller tools. Uh, if you still don't know already, this is a continuity tester. I like it to be here because uh, I'm, I'm a right-hander. So I'm, I'll be using the my right hand as the, the one that is uh, doing the testing and the left one is on the clamping. So if you still haven't don't know what is this, uh, this is a continuity tester or a light bulb tester. Uh, so if you want to find out eh, where do you want to solder your your TRRS, so this is your tip, which is the left channel, you want to find out, uh, use the continuity tester, use the continuity tester to find out, uh, is it here, here, or here. So this is the correct pin to solder. So this is how you find out your your pin out. Okay, one final final thing. So this thing you see they are dangling around. So you might want to house them. You can use some clips or best. Uh, we do have blue tags. A lot of them. A lot of blue tags. So we will just put some blue tags uh, right on the case itself. Maybe one here, one here at each side. So you can just uh, stick them there if they are not in use. And uh, you don't have to find, look for it, uh, where are the ends. And uh, this is a very, very simple way to create a very, very small station. As you can see, the soldering iron can be here. Uh, of course, we it, it nearly burn up the, the piece there, so be very careful. And you can have all your parts in one place. Uh, let's say you want to do a, a jack repair, you can put your jack inside, your heat shrink inside, everything is prepared down there. Uh, you can also move this forward uh, and you work on the back some people prefer to work at the back i prefer to work uh, at the front so this is where i put it then uh, of course this edge give you some support to do soldering you can even put something to raise up your 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 working piece maybe a, a, work, a pair of helping hands here you can put it down here so it raises the soldering point it makes it very easy to do a soldering yeah so that's all for today i uh, hope this can be one of your first uh, diy project and uh, if you have any questions or anything that you want me to see, you want to see me do or want me to to go through or to teach you, uh, please do feel free to comment uh, below. We will list out the tools and the parts used in this video. Uh, a lot of them are very easy to get online or even at your nearby hardware store. But now is the lockdown period, so uh, I think most of the shopping has to be done online. And uh, also, uh, we have uh, the written guide for this, the written tutorial for this on our website. The link will be in the description. All the parts list and tools will be also linked in the description so you can take a look. Yeah, so anyway, uh, I'll see you in the next video.